To bear the bruises till me dying day. He's only a bit on the bus. They're very dramatic, these Hungarians, aren't they? <laughs> Tied the string too tight. I've got a square rib cage. Mm. But all me organs are rectangular. Oh, <laughs> it could be nasty in a tight squeeze. <laughs> What's he been doing to your love? Tied what too tight? He's he... been out on his special delivery, if you'll pardon the medical expression. Oh. Hey, are you at Granville? <laughs> Come out of there. You leave him alone. But he's a, he's a not alone in there, is he? <laughs> Three in a blouse is one too many. <laughs> Come on. And I've got the ugly one. Look Ow. at that. Get off. Listen, don't bother about him. When am I going to go and uh, come over to your place for a bite or failing that uh, something to eat? Put your voice down, you old fool. He can't hear. He's too busy uh, counting his bruises. And so will you be if you start your nonsense. You know, isn't it a shame that uh, so much of my nonsense is uh, going to waste every day? I mean, you never know how much you've got left, do you? <laughs> but wouldn't it be terrible if, if I ran out of nonsense during our nuptials? <laughs> What? Oh, the nuptials, you know, when we're having an afternoon nup. <laughs> when we go on our honeymoon. If we go on our honeymoon. Don't forget the if, that's most important. Oh, I won't, I'll be pack everything. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, if I'm, where is a man on his honeymoon without his important if? <laughs> Promise to be quiet and you can bring your nonsense and your if over for a bite of supper and hand the cards when my mother's asleep. Oh, good. That's uh, lovely. I'll teach you how to play a uh, strip snap. <laughs> Any talk of that nature, my lad, and you'll feel the full force of my knockout whist. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> that will put, put pay to my nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. Yes. Put these on me bill. I can't stand to watch any fiancé of mine feeding the jaws of that rotten till. I heard all that, you dirty devil. <laughs> well, you're going over there tonight, are you? Leaving me here on me own? You won't be on your own, Deirdre. You'll have your bruises. <laughs> Listen, what sort of a place has Gupta got, then? He's got a nice little place. Looks like a decent business. Oh, big as ours. Bigger. Bigger? The beggar. <laughs> Still, I've seen it all before. He'll overreach himself. Pride comes before a pair of ever fought me one. <laughs> why should I care? I mean, why should I care what Gupta's up to? He's only just started stocking clothes horses. I've been just stocking them for years. Only because you forgot all about them. I just had them in reserve there, that's all. I'll give him Yorkshire's most authentic general store. Oh, well, he's got a point. Well, actually, he's got ten points. Because he's the one with all the genuine Yorkshire clothes horses, isn't he? Well, you will just have to go and buy a couple back, that's all. Yeah, I... W me? <laughs> Why me? Well, he'll recognise me. Well, he'll re recognise me. <laughs> no, he won't. We'll fix you up with a nice little uh, disguise. <laughs> don't honestly think I'm going to get away with this, do you? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I can get you a job with Richard Attenborough. <laughs> Look, if you can be Hungarian, you can be Indian. Yes, but I've always been a male Hungarian. <laughs> Look, if you're going to start splitting hairs, come on, you look wonderful. That the bulldog brand of black leathers work wonders with your complexion. It's, but Indians aren't black, they're a delicate olive colour. Well, it's all right, he'll just I think you're from another part of Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Oh, hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, hang on. what is it now? <laughs> Without 
any cl clothes horses. <laughs> Look, do you want Go me? on, go on. Who's going to recognise you? Like your frock, Granville. <laughs> Don't let him over to charge you. <laughs> Excuse me. Speaks the language like a native. It's all very well, but it's coming off all over everything. <laughs> Shame here. It's ruined me hat. Look at me hat. <laughs> There's good gratitude for you. <laughs> Introduce you to a superb substance. I let you into it a trade secret, and all you can do is go grumble about a few to teething troubles. Teething troubles? Missus is going crackers. So is mine. You can see everywhere I've been. <laughs> mine screams every time I lie down. She says it's like somebody pointing a cannon at her. <laughs> Gentlemen, you seem to have overlooked them a major benefits. Major benefits? Yeah, haven't you realised by now that you are absolutely irresistible to two other women, oh. especially for foreign women? I mean, the mysterious East. They practically invented it out there, didn't they? Black lead polish? No, black lead but <laughs> polish. I'm, I'm talking about sexual sensuality. Sensual, 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 nookie. <laughs> Have you never heard of the Kakama Sutra? I suppose you're going to try and sell us a bottle of that next. <laughs> it's not in a bottle. You do it, don't you? It is all to do with the Eastern harems and the and the Indian sultanas. He's trying to sell us something. And what sultanas got to do with it? I don't mean there's so much a pound sultanas. <laughs> you great uh, Pontefract cake. <laughs> <laughs> talking about the the mysterious uh, plump sultanas they're, from the east. They're called raisins. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you are, then. That proves my point entirely. <laughs> you see, they'll be mad for you. I'll take another two I tins. I'll have two more. <laughs> well, there here we are. Oh, dear. <laughs> Hello there, um, Cuddly. Hello. You're a nice little thing, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> there is something about these foreign women. Mm. It's them big almond eyes. Yeah. Oh, no, I haven't got big almond eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, Olga, stop it, will you get off? Get off! <laughs> hey, just a minute, you haven't been paid for the bib 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 I bet it's not tandoori chicken. <laughs> Street's quiet. I like this area. Well, you do when you know just about every brick and black suspender in it. <laughs> I must say, I'm looking forward to the game with Nurse Gladys tonight. I get the premonition that the cards will be played very close to the chest. <laughs> <laughs> We all know whose chest, don't we? <laughs> <laughs>